welcome back to my channel my name is Anna and today we're gonna talk about books I wished I never had read and this is a tough one I'm probably gonna get hated on most of these books but I'm just voicing out my opinion so if you don't like it get out bye well let's get going so my first book is Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas I wish I had not read this book and I do agree on what most people have written as a review, it just unacceptable for me. I just couldn't get past chapter one. I'm like, how could someone be so selfish? I'm sorry, but like, I just can't get over it. It just took the enjoyment out of the book. I hate selfish characters unless there's a purpose. So I don't know if Selena, how do you say her name? If she, if like, if there is a reason for her to be selfish, but like, I just couldn't get past the first chapter on the second one. So I'm like, nope, not anymore. My next book is The Red Queen by Victoria Ariad. Again, it's the same reason I just couldn't finish it. I think I actually had like seven more chapters to go, which is really surprising me because I just kept forcing myself like, it will be better, it will be better. but. It just didn't got any better, and people were comparing it to Red Rising just because of the similarities that both of the books had. And they were quite similar. I did read both of them. I just did not like one of them at all, and so I stopped reading them because they were just. I had too many books to cry over, so these guys were just wasting my time. My next book is The Paris Apartment by Lucy Foley. Again, I hated this book. It was just way too slow. It was dragging on. At times, I didn't really know what was happening. Although, I do admit that the beginning of the book did start out really strong. So, I was actually rooting for it to like make it all better and such. But like at the end of the day, it just wasn't and I could not find a single character to like and honestly I just couldn't care as to who did it with the whole mystery of it but um, yeah I just couldn't like Jessica she was supposed to be a, like a likable character but she wasn't I thought she complained too much my next book is The Hawthorne Legacy by Jennifer Lynn Barnes so I loved the first book I loved the mystery of it I loved how they have to solve all these puzzles that were scattered out throughout the book. The mystery was great. I loved it. But then this book, how did it go from one book being so great and just to fail miserably in this book? Like, I feel like the plot was trying to be too hard to be clever. And then the mystery just wasn't mystery at all. And the ending, I actually hated the ending. I do agree, agree with some of the view, reviews. That they were saying and most of them did hate the ending i also did but um, at the moment i couldn't care less when a character Emily. i couldn't care less who she liked like grayson jackson whoever i couldn't care at all so i thought the nomads like pretty much ruined everything i wish there was more mystery and magic like how the first book had and this one just felt too flat and I think the writing was also went downhill as well so that kind of took the enjoyment out of the book and I also felt the characters being a little flat there just wasn't enough complexity like we just started to get to know them and then all of a sudden they just they had no complex to them I like complex characters it just adds more fun to the books but this one just didn't have any my next book is The Ballad of Songbirds and Snake by Suzanne Collins. So, again, I wish I'd have never read this book. It was just not necessary. I felt it ruined The Hunger Games. And, like, to be honest, I was excited to read it at first because I wanted to know why Snow, like, how Snow was made. Like, what made him be who he was in The Hunger Games. But then when the book came out, I was... It's important. I just found this, found myself not caring at all, and this book just was not necessary at all. The book also threw in some stuff, even though about Penguin, and even though we already know 
about Panem in like the Hunger Games, so nothing was really new added, which kind of sucked because I was looking forward to more new history about it, but that wasn't much. I didn't really like the pacing. I thought it was a bit weird and wonky at the same time. It was just almost all over the place and I didn't even know what was going on at the time. And even though this, I didn't like the ending, I just thought like the snow part of the ending was just wrapped up too quickly. I felt like it could have been more, um, be more extended I guess. I just felt like there was not enough closure of the snow at all so yeah this book just wasn't necessary. My next book is All as Well by Mona Erwin. Again I know like this book I found the main character complaining way too much about her chronic illness which we understand it is painful but like you don't need to complain throughout the whole book. Like, I, I feel you, I am sorry that you have it, but like, she, she's just too negative about it. Like, she, all she does is complain, and like, we get it, I'm sorry, we get it. And I also felt at times it was like, too much repetitive, and it, it was just confusing for the story. And then there were like, some passage of dismissal of Miranda's passage. It's kind of very emphasized with Miranda, so. Yeah, I just felt confused with this book. My next book is The Kingdom of Copper by S.J. Chakraborty. So this is the second book I It's the like. second book of the Devon trilogy. I just didn't really like it too much. I feel like there was too many politics happening in here. Which is still an interesting to read, but I feel like it just took the enjoyment of the book and then it just felt flat because of it. Like, I don't mind reading books about politics, but that should not be the main thing, you know? Like, it's okay to have a, a few here, a few there, but like, try to balance it. So I think if the author balanced the politics, I think the second book would be much more enjoyable. And also the magic system, I thought that was broken throughout the book. Like, there were things they could not do, and in some way, every single rule about the magic has been broken so like what's the point of having a magic system if you're just gonna break it so like there's no point in having a magic system you know so that was felt a little off and then there was like secret knowledge and difficult to understand and all of a sudden wow you can do that and so i know it's been done so many times but like i don't know i just thought that was like out of the blue and not just a, you know, the magic system since it's all broken so it doesn't really add up. But regardless, I did love like the you know, the setting and the scene and how like everything was described. So I did like that part of the book, but I just wish the book was more balanced between politicals and magic and all those things. And then my next book is The House of the Korean Sea by T.J. Kloon. So I read this book as an audiobook and I gave it one star because I just couldn't and I like the first time I just couldn't get into the book. It was already boring for me. But upon doing some research, like I actually found a comment under the under the new page and what when I read that I was shocked. Uh, and like how TNG got inspired by the 60s scope and I'm like oh my god I can't believe this guy just brushing off as a fantasy he can write off. As I was saying with the house in the Cerulean Sea it's not okay to write off on someone's trauma and I just couldn't finish it like I think it was about four chapters in and to me it was kind of shocking how people love it so much like they show the research in all honesty, but in my defense, I also didn't know as well. But until I read the comments, and it was pretty shocking. Like, so I just didn't finish it in the end because it's just not okay. And my next book is Legendary by Stephanie Garba. I think almost everyone knows how they feel. Um, I read this story a long time ago, so I don't really remember what happened. But I don't think I didn't like it, so you know, just not so much fun things happening there. I kind of like the first one, but 
so yeah, like all the magic was completely gone, and when the legendary didn't feel legendary at all, and um, Tilla actually had potential to be a really great hero protagonist, that didn't happen, all the magic was gone, and everything was just so rushed and bland, and I just didn't care in the end. And my next book is Harry Potter and the Cursed Child by John Tiffany. I was so surprised that this has not been written by J.K. Rowling. Maybe, yeah. So I think if she had written the book, it would be entirely different. But for some strange reason, I gave it a three stars, even though I hated it. I just can't remember why I gave it three stars. I read this book like so long ago, and it wasn't necessary and like I just couldn't connect with the new characters that they had and like the original characters that we fell in love with it just felt so different and cringy and like most of the time it honestly did felt like fan fiction so I didn't have low expectations but like for the life of me I can't remember why I gave it three stars but it was so good that I gave it three stars Oh well, can't remember, don't care anyway. And my final book is Red Rising by Pierce Browns. I know, I know, don't let me hear it. I just couldn't enjoy it, I got bored. And look how thick the text is. I thought I got it in like a small, small text, but this actually turned out to be pretty big ones. I don't know if you can tell, but um, yeah, I was impressed by the font. So, once again, um, I didn't read this way long ago, so I don't really remember much of it, but I didn't know I was born with it. And while I think they had like a game in there, like Caption of Flying or something like that. So, it was kind of interesting to see like the strategy of it, but like as for the like, protocol message, I didn't really see any political message, maybe that's just me. And um, there's like a lot of cool gadgets that Pierce had mentioned, but I felt like they were never really fully explained. And I also felt like the world building and like everything around it was just a bit too tedious and there's just so much that kind of put everything in a slog for me. So that's one of the reasons why I find it boring. And and they remind me a lot of Hunger Games, except it's on Mars. And so, yeah, and I don't know, I can't remember if I liked any of the characters. I don't think I didn't. But, yes, I just, from what I can remember, I just didn't really enjoy it. There were just too many fancy words being thrown around just for the sake of it. And nothing was really much explained what, as far as like the gadgets and whatnot. Because they really did sound interesting. I was just wish there were more detail to it. But um, yeah. Okay, that is all the books I wished I had never read. Mm -hmm. uh, comment down below if you have read any of these books. What are your thoughts? Let me know. Also, please like comment down below, and subscribe so that you won't miss a video every time I post. All my social media links are down below, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! I think it's magic.